Dear researchers, dear participants, as you know, I have long been convinced that Europe's small and medium-sized cities have a key role to play in development. 43% of Europe's population live in such cities. Yet, for too long, most of the new jobs and most of the high added value jobs have concentrated in a few large cities. If we can level the playing field, this will be a triple win. For smaller cities and their regions, that will have increased opportunities. For larger cities, that will have reduced their congestion costs. And for Europeans, we'll be able to combine high-end jobs with the potential high quality of life of those cities. So I am delighted that the extensive territorial research capacity of ESPON is being mobilized in the cause of the small and medium-sized cities. My sincere thanks both to ESPON and also to the Spanish presidency for promoting this initiative. Your work is crucial. The last few years have taught us the importance of real-time data in adapting policies to a rapidly changing reality. ESPON has been providing in-depth territorial analysis for over 20 years now, but today, more than ever, we need you. We need your data, you, we need your analysis to guide cohesion policies investments. For example, the 24 billion euros set aside to support investments in sustainable urban development strategies. We need your data and analysis on the specific needs and strategies of different cities. Successful action requires a precise diagnosis of the gaps and of the structural challenges. And finally, we need your data and your analysis for cities as they play the role of anchors for the broader region. This will be particularly important in the future development of the rural areas, uh, the rural regions as well as regions which are stuck in development traps. As we set out in the long-term vision for rural areas, such regions rely on small and medium-sized cities. They expect these cities to act as locomotives of development. Uh, but as we also noted in our communication on uh, harnessing talent in Europe's regions, this requires a broader view of the functional area, of the skills and of the resources needed not just inside the city and for the city, but for the whole region. This is why we have proposed a talent booster mechanism to help European territories tackle these challenges. But for such a mechanism to succeed, we need reliable intelligence and analysis at both the level of the city and the level of the functional area. The first major event of partners in the Harnessing Talent platform will take place in Brussels on the 23rd and 24th of November. I encourage you all to contribute. So there is work to be done. And I am very, very glad that ESPON members are our full partners in this work, providing data on the situation and needs of Europe's small and medium-sized cities and the contribution they can make to the broader functional area. I look forward to hearing your contributions as we gather evidence for the ninth cohesion report to be published next spring. I wish you fruitful discussions and I look forward to hearing the results. Thank you so, so much. Thank you.